And now for the details, and His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received in the presence of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince Prime Minister, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, the personal representative of His Majesty His Highness Sheikh Abdullah bin Hamad Al Khalifa, the representative of His Majesty for Humanitarian Work and Youth Affairs and National Security, advisor His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, the special representative of His Majesty His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Mubarak Al Khalifa, and the first Deputy Chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, Chairman of the General Sports Authority and President of Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Khaled bin Hamad Al Khalifa in Sakhir Palace, heads of diplomatic missions accredited to the country who conveyed to His Majesty the greetings and appreciation of their leaders and their good wishes on the occasion of the holy month of Ramadan, wishing His Majesty the King many happy returns and good health and happiness, and to Bahrain and its people for the progress and prosperity. They expressed their thanks and pride in His Majesty's leading role and efforts in consolidating Bahrain's relations with their countries and advancing them towards broader horizons of cooperation to achieve common benefits. His Majesty the King welcomed the ambassadors of friendly countries and exchanged congratulations and blessings with them on the occasion, praising the distinguished historical relations that unite Bahrain and their countries. He expressed appreciation for ambassadors' efforts to continue to increase cooperation and coordination between Bahrain and their countries in light of their mutual keenness to achieve common goals. His Majesty affirmed that the Kingdom is keen to build good relations and strong partnerships with various countries based on mutual respect, cooperation and common interests for the benefit of all. He also praised Bahrain's leading role, which has distinguished it throughout the ages in consolidating the concepts of coexistence, tolerance, peace and moderation, extending bridges of communication and promoting dialogue and civilizational rapprochement between followers of religions and various cultures for the progress of humanity.
His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, the Supreme Commander of the Armed Forces, received in the presence of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander of the Armed Forces and Prime Minister, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa at Sakhir Palace, the BDF Commander-in-Chief, Field Marshal Sheikh Khalifa bin Ahmed Al Khalifa, the Minister of Interior, General Sheikh Rashid bin Abdullah Al Khalifa, the President of the National Intelligence Agency, Lieutenant General Adel bin Khalifa Al Fadl, and senior officers from the BDF, the National Guard, the Ministry of Interior, and the National Intelligence Agency. The audience congratulated His Majesty on the occasion of the holy month of Ramadan, praying to Allah Almighty to protect him, wishing him many happy returns and good health and happiness, and to the people of Bahrain with security, safety, stability, and prosperity under His Majesty's wise leadership. His Majesty exchanged with them congratulations on the occasion, wishing them many happy returns. He also expressed pride in all the members of the BDF, the National Guard, the Ministry of Interior and the National Intelligence and Strategic Security Agencies and thanked them for their efforts in protecting the nation's unity, enforcing the law and protecting its gains. He commanded the cooperation, solidarity, co coordination and joint work between the BDF and the security services, stressing that Bahrain will remain safe with the spirit of one united family. His Majesty also expressed pride in the cohesion of the people of Bahrain, which stems from their awareness that the responsibility is shared in achieving the development and security of the nation. He asked the audience to convey his congratulations to the blessed month, to the brave man in their various work sites, inside and outside the country, praying to Allah Almighty to grant mercy and forgiveness to the nation's fallen servicemen and to grant them a place in paradise. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, in the presence of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, the personal representative of His Majesty His Highness Sheikh Abdullah bin Hamad Al Khalifa, the representative of His Majesty for Humanitarian Work and Youth Affairs and National Security Advisor His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, and the first Deputy Chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, Chairman of the General Sports Authority, President of Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Khaled bin Hamad Al Khalifa, received at Sakhir Palace Bahrain's new ambassadors to a number of brotherly and friendly countries. Bahrain's ambassador to France, Sam Abdelaziz Al Jassim, Bahrain's ambassador to Italy, Osama Abdullah Al Absi, Bahrain's ambassador to Malaysia, Dr. Walid Khalifa Al Manai, Bahrain's ambassador to Jordan, Sheikh Khalifa bin Abdullah bin Hamad Al Khalifa, Bahrain's ambassador to Algeria, Ali Jassim Ahmed Al Aradi, Bahrain's ambassador to Tunisia, Abdelaziz Mohammed Al Aid, Bahrain's ambassador to Turkey, Bassam Ahmed Marzouk, Bahrain's Ambassador to Korea, Saud Hassan Al Nisf, 
and Bahrain's ambassador to Iraq, Khaled Ahmed Al Mansour. The ambassadors took the legal oath before His Majesty on the occasion of the issuance of the royal decree appointing them as ambassadors extraordinary and plenipotentiary. His Majesty congratulated the ambassadors on their appointment to their positions, wishing them success in performing their new diplomatic duties and bearing this national responsibility to serve the nation and its citizens. He asked them to convey his greetings to their heads of state and his sincere wishes to their friendly people of continued development and prosperity. His Majesty also directed them to continue efforts to consolidate Bahrain's close relations, build on the close ties with these countries, expand the base of its interest with them and embody the kingdom's principles calling for cooperation, peace, tolerance and human coexistence, as well as work for the affairs and interest of Bahraini citizens in those countries and meet their needs. His Majesty praised the important role played by all Bahraini ambassadors in supporting coordination and joint work with various countries and increasing constructive cooperation. He stressed that the kingdom is keen to consolidate the base of its interests with various countries in a way that achieves mutual mutual interests. For their part, the ambassadors extended their congratulations and blessings to His Majesty the King on the occasion of this holy month, wishing him and the people of Bahrain many happy returns. They expressed thanks and gratitude to His Majesty and affirmed pride in the royal trust to represent the nation abroad, stressing that His Majesty's directives are an incentive to exert further efforts for more cooperation and close ties with these countries. The National Guard Commander General, His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Isa Al Khalifa, met with the Prime Minister of Pakistan, Mian Mohammed Shahbaz Sharif, in Islamabad, where His Highness conveyed the congratulations and greetings of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, the Supreme Commander of the Armed Forces, and of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander of the Armed Forces, and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, and their wishes to Pakistan of continued progress and prosperity. Both sides exchanged views on ways to develop bilateral relations in all fields and His Highness praised the high level of cooperation between both sides, stressing that efforts to strengthening bilateral relations will continue for the interest of both countries. Regional and international issues were also discussed and for his part, the Pakistani Prime Minister praised the progress that Bahrain is witnessing in all fields under the leadership of His Majesty the King and praised the cooperation and coordination between both sides, especially in international events for the interest of the two countries and the Islamic nation. The Pakistani Prime Minister asked His Highness to convey his greetings to His Majesty the King and His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Prime Minister, wishing His Highness a pleasant stay in Pakistan. And for his part, His Highness thanked the Pakistani Prime Minister for the warm welcome and generous hospitality, wishing Pakistan and its people continued progress, prosperity, security and stability. The meeting was attended by Bahrain's ambassador to Pakistan, Mohammed Ibrahim Mohammed. <coughs> 
The commander of the National Guard, His Highness General Sheikh Mohammed bin Isa Al Khalifa, met with Pakistan's Chairman of Joint Chiefs of Staff Committee, General Sahir Shamshad Mirza, on the sidelines of His Highness' official visit to Pakistan to participate in the celebrations of Pakistan Day. Upon His Highness' arrival to the Pakistani Army headquarters, the Chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff and a number of senior Pakistani military commanders were at the forefront to receive him and an official reception ceremony was held where the Bahraini and Pakistani national anthems were played. His Highness then inspected the guards that lined up to salute him. The Chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff welcomed the visit of His Highness, which comes within the framework of developing military relations between both countries and praised the advanced levels of military cooperation and exchange between the two sides and the role of the Pakistani army in supporting regional and international security and stability. The two sides discussed issues of common concern and the cooperation and friendship relations between Bahrain and Pakistan were reviewed, especially those related to the military field. The Minister of Tourism, Fatima El Sarafi, met with the CEO of Bahrain real estate investment company, Adama, Christopher Klavert. The minister affirmed keenness to strengthen the partnership with Adama, and the meeting was discussed, or the meeting rather discussed the progress of developing the Gal Galali Coast projects scheduled to open in the second quarter of this year after the strategic agreement was signed by the Bahrain Tourism and Exhibition Authority with Adama to manage and operate the project. The two sides reviewed the latest developments in the Plage Al Jazair project as it is one of the major projects that will contribute to developing Bahrain's infrastructure and supporting the enhancement of the added value of the tourism sector. The chairman of the Sunni Waqaf Council, Sheikh Dr. Rashid Al Hajri, hailed the directives of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Prime Minister, to open, restore, and develop 32 mosques under the Sunni and Jafari Waqf in all governorates. Al Hajri affirmed that the directive stems from His Royal Highness' keenness on building and developing mosques during the holy month and that the plan reflects the government's keenness on achieving growth for the country and the aspirations of its people. He noted that the Council is exerting its utmost efforts to implement the directives by specialized work teams. For his part, the chairman of the Jafari Waqf Council, Yusuf Al Saleh, hailed the directive, noting that it constitutes an opportunity to follow up on the needs of mosques. He added that His Royal Highness Order stems from the leadership's continuous care for places of worship. Well, mosques and grand mosques in Bahrain receive support at all levels through the restoration, the development and new openings in various governorates. The order of His Royal Highness, the Crown Prince, Prime Minister, to open, restore and develop 32 mosques affiliated with the Sunni Jafari Waqf Directorate in all governorates came within the framework of the mosque development plan. This reflects the support given to mosques and places of worship in Bahrain by His Majesty the King and the government's continued keenness to build and develop them in a sustainable manner. This is in line with what Bahrain seeks in urban expansion, developing infrastructure and providing the appropriate environment, especially during this holy month. In implementation of the directives of His Majesty the King to provide goods and control prices, over 200 merchants signed a document pledging not to raise prices during Ramadan. The merchants affirmed their cooperation, commitment and keenness to take into account people's needs during the holy month. The Food Sector Committee of the Bahrain Chamber of Commerce and Industry affirmed the availability of sufficient stocks of meat and poultry during this month, which is a result of the rapid response of merchants and companies in Bahrain to the needs of the local market, which reflected positively on both parties through the competition to provide promotional offers in preparation to the consumer's purchasing capacity amid regulatory procedures under the supervision of the Ministry of Industry and Commerce and the continuous work of the Ministry of Health and the Port to inspect food to accelerate the handling of goods for this holy month.
In conjunction with the holy month of Ramadan and the opening of the new Delman poultry company Hatchery, the company, which aims to provide a local product that meets market requirements, was able to increase its production of chicken by 25% compared to last year. With the opening of the new hatchery, production has doubled in cooperation with chicken breeders to cover the needs of the local market throughout the days of the holy month. Poultry farms in Bahrain are operating at full capacity as part of the company's seasonal plan to welcome the holy month with the aim of increasing the production cycle of the farms to meet the needs of consumers and provide sufficient quantities of fish poultry or fresh poultry in local market.